My recent band recovery video kind of went viral, and there was a lot of great questions in the comments saying, what's the big deal about finding a waterfowl band? Well, if you're a waterfowl enthusiast or even a hunter, you kind of know the deal, but for those that don't, waterfowl bands in the duck hunting world are viewed as treasures in the golf world, kind of like a hole in one. It's pretty special. If you were to harvest or find a bird with a band, uh, you're able to keep it, report that data. It's just a pretty cool little trophy as a waterfowl hunter. So this is going on the lanyard as a recovered band. People have asked, no, there is no reward for most bands. Some bands do come with cash rewards, but those are very, very far and few between. Most bands are just used for collecting waterfowl migration data. Got it crimped on here. This band is a little bit different because it had been ran over by traffic. If you didn't catch that short, this was recovered in Raleigh off Capitol Boulevard. It was a dead goose. Bingo, nailed it. They've been flattened and two of the numbers were all mangled up, but I used AI to give me all the possible answers, knowing that this was a rounded curve number. And this one, I'm pretty sure was a four based on the other four on here. So I used AI to figure this out and I was able to find a matching band number. Now I've got one harvested Canada goose band where a pellet actually hit him in the leg here. Three others found and recovered. These two are in Greensboro, this one in Raleigh. This was a snow goose out of Arkansas. This is a wood duck out of Terrell County and a bluebill out of Illinois. And the rubber band came out of the mouth of a ruddy duck in Hyde County. So we called it a rubber banded ruddy duck. That's on there just for fun. Neck collars came off the two bands I recovered in Greensboro. Oftentimes I'll put neck collars on them. That way you can identify them at a distance. So I've actually got two bands with matching neck collars. So that's pretty cool.